what is going on youtube welcome back to another video in this video we do have tons and tons of upgrades to the account and we are most definitely powering through all the early grindy content just so we can get to pking as quickly as possible and yes i have hidden the entity and the reason to that is i don't want to give away any early upgrades to ruin the experience but as always just like the previous videos i do like to sneak in hints in the intro so if you're one of those people who know you know there we go merlin's crystal down so i think now we have every prerequisite for let's see where is that hero's quest everything but the stats so that's what we're gonna actually go ahead and work on eventually the cooking is a bible very easy these two are gonna take me forever because yeah i'm the guy who hates these kind of things so that we're gonna leave to the side in the meantime but eventually we need to tackle it because i need the defense from this so i could eventually wear the void so honestly i don't know why i've convinced myself to do this i haven't done this quest in forever and i don't plan i didn't plan on doing it in a long time but I feel like it's gotten to the point where I think I'm going to need to do this. I'm going to most likely get annoyed of standard magic and I'm going to want to have this. But outside of the fact of having ancients unlocked, the good part about this is that 62 mage, I unlock um, ice, uh, smoke burst. Sorry. So I could start smoke bursting the tunnels in the meantime and then obviously work my way towards ice burst. Since I'm someone who really hates skilling, I'd rather do quests because of this quest helper. I feel like it's a lot easier to do this and get those early levels out. So I'm going to go ahead and knock out this 16 fire making, fire making because I know eventually I'm going to need fire making. So I'm going to knock this out right now and then go ahead and do the giant dwarf because that gives me 1500 XP and thieving. And then we'll start Hazel Cult right after. Did I tell you guys how much I hate skilling? I know I've seen this crap somewhere on Twitch and YouTube where you could do some something with a pestle and mortar and this and then and then this and then this and and then you get some cool like little one tick uh, manipulation and you could light a log every single time. Yeah. Number one, that didn't work. Number two, I looked online and it's way more complex than I thought. And number three, it takes about a minute to light every single time. That was like the, the quickest one I, I lit in, in the cool minute. Oh, that was another quick one. That was another quick one. All right. Finally, level 10. But realistically i think we're finally getting to that point where it's gonna light faster but oh my god has this been hell all right it looks like it's time for us to start hazel's cult we got a little bit more than we should have but we got 25 fire making there was a, a cool homie i met at the grand exchange um his name is actually nail you mom um this guy's pretty dope he's a pretty chill cat so it allowed me to get about 25 fire making so we're gonna go ahead and do hazel's cult in the meantime um i'll see you guys when we start that quest i don't know what this is but i kind of completed hazel's cold i guess uh there might be i guess i don't know let me search the cupboard what does this mean oops the one time the second option is not freaking search come on never mind the second i ended the recording the quest was complete so that is hazel's cult complete 1500 more thieving xp bringing us to 21 thieving so it completely slipped my mind. I was supposed to do the giant dwarf, not Hazel's cult. That was the whole reasoning behind why I got fire making. And then it completely slipped my mind why I got fire making and I couldn't literally track my thoughts. And now I know why. So we're going to start the grand tree. I mean, <laughs> the giant dwarf, the giant dwarf weed, <laughs> the giant dwarf, the giant dwarf quest started. These exams are always a beauty to get. I forgot to even use this book, but we're going to go ahead and put that on agility. 495 xp that was not a level but hey that's some xp right there i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys i do not wish this quest upon my enemy this is the worst quest that has ever been made in runescape history i know there's worse like underground pass is one there's others that i won't wish upon my enemy but this has been hell <laughs> i hate this i hate this quest i've came from here to the grand exchange at least 12 times the secretary itself or the advisor had asked me to get seven items and right now i'm working on the director this is my third set that i've had to go and bring this is kind of getting out of hand these these guys are uh, taking advantage of my kindness you know um i'm gonna need to be paid ot on this oh my god those are the best words it just asked me to join i could finally join these suckers and never have to deal with this crap again oh my god oh my god this quest is finally complete i'm gonna literally go back to editing and i know my timer hasn't changed since i started the quest I don't think I logged in and started the quest, and I doubt this quest took me two hours, but it, it was way longer than it should have. And it is time to start a tribal totem for some more thieving XP, because this one is really short, and we could use a thieving XP. And that is tribal totem down. We got one quest point and 1,700 more thieving XP, giving us a total of 25. It's not bad. I think it's time for us to start the golem, because that will give us uh, 27 thieving, I think, which means I could start Phamedic Trials after that, so that's a good thing. 
And that is the golem complete. 1,000 crafting, 1,000 thieving. There we go. Fremenic trials completed. All right, time to start the feud. There we go. That is the feud completed for 15,000 thieving XP. We're at 37 now. All right, we just started the Gertrude's cat. It's going to be a quick little quest complete. Well, there we go. That is Gertrude's cat completed. And that is Iktlarin's little helper, or however the hell you pronounce it, started. And that is Itch's little helper done. That is 65 mage as well. While we try to get 20 smithing. All right, time to start Troll Stronghold. Troll Stronghold completed. Troll Romance started. Troll Romance completed. Time to start Tourist Trap. Now that we completed that, I think it is the right time to start the dig site. And that is the dig site started. And there we go. That is the dig site complete with a fat 15,300 mining XP drop, giving us a total of 34. Now, I think what we were at 20 or 21 when we started this. That's pretty good. We haven't, I, I don't think we've ever mined anything, to be honest, on this account. We're at 34. I think I've only thieved a couple things. We're at 41. I've done a couple laps of agility. We're at 41. You know, like most of these things that I haven't even really like I haven't even put in any effort. Questing has gotten me to these stats. Since I've been doing a lot of questing lately, I think I need to take another break. So guess what? We're going back to Slayers. We did get a beautiful Moss Giants task. So I think it's about 80 of them or something like that. Yeah, 90 of them. So we're, let's, let's knock out these. And after that, I don't know. Let's see what the moon is like. If we want to get back into questing, we'll go back to questing. If it's pest control, we're going to go back to pest control. The definite goal is to do heroes quest, hopefully in the next day or two, because I want to unlock that. 42 defense so i can unlock my access to void so i can purchase void which is more motivating for me to go back to pest control but for now let's go ahead and get to these mouse shines let's knock out this task really quick and then we'll power forward from there and see what what the next thing is i'm a noob i couldn't slash the web so i hopped around a couple worlds realized that there's no one there and it's all bots in the area so i left and got a brine saver and that is 66 mage 32 slayer and a rain rc on the same tick 33 slayer there we go that task is complete we got three rainars out of it let's go ahead and go grab another task real quick hopefully it was a hopefully the next one is pretty good like this one because that is 5400 slayers xp and it's pretty decent for um for slayers currently and that is 67 mage while we train zombies and that is also 37 slayers this guy should be the last zombie of the task and we could go grab a quick task down the street right here the downside was i had to restart the task because my last task was green dragons and i did not want to rechange up my inventory and my bank but ice shines that's a little bit i mean I, that's not fun either but we're, we're gonna go ahead and do those 53 hp 35 slayers 69 range and that is the ice shines task complete for 5400 xp that took way too long way way too long there we go that is 42 thieving finally which also means we can finally start temple of ikov so let's go ahead and do that temple of ikov completed 10,500 range 8,000 fletching all right 32 fletching not bad and back to chins we go until we hit 70 range by the way we also hit 75 mage going on to 76 i've been stun alchemy a lot on the side while i was editing 54 hp in the bag there we go we finally hit the square even 70 range and that means we could upgrade our freaking armor oh my god boy does that feel good to wear that armor holy crap that my friends is finally 55 hp and a total level of 800 that is insane we are already at 800 total level holy crap that is 71 range in the bag 56 hit points in the bag as always i forget to record the process but we completed mage arena one so guess what that means we have to get our cape traditionally i always get the zamrock but for some odd reason i'm feeling ceridomen so we're gonna go with the ceridomen route this time let me get like two or three capes and uh, bank these and i'll see you guys in the next clip so i got bored and came back to pest control i decided to do a couple games i think this might be my last one i did like I think five or six games and i don't think it's a good idea for me to do pest control anymore being that i'm very close to level 70 and at 70 i do get more points so i think it might be a waste of time for me to do that i'm also a mage and an hp level away from leveling up to 68 combat which means i'm nearing um 70 combat that much quicker so i think we're gonna go ahead and do this for a little bit and then go back to thieving and try to get very close to 53 if not 53 today that might be my goal so tomorrow or 
the end of today, I knock out Desert's treasures. So tomorrow, we are bursting the tunnels and trying to get 99 mage. 46 TV. Oh, no, I, I literally just missed it. But whatever, that is 47 thieving. I was trying to catch the first one. I don't know why I spammed it. All right, this time I'm going to catch it. Bam, 48 thieving in the bag. Guess who's going to catch the next level? I am 49th thieving. Square even 50. 51 thieving. 52 thieving. We are one level away from starting Desert Treasure. I'm getting excited. I do not believe my eyes, but it is finally done, guys. 53 thieving in the bag. Guess what that means? That means we could start the beloved, beautiful quest that we all love, Desert's Treasure. We have all the requirements besides 50 fire making. We all know that's very, very easy to knock out from 36. So I'm going to go ahead and knock out 50 fire making, and I'll see you guys when that's done, and we'll see you at the start of the quest.